a little while now I see a lot of guys who are on the bandwagon every year on and off I'm gonna do 75 hard with the boys 75 hard with the boys I'm doing 75 hard again and I'll tell you this I think most people are making a mistake now I will preface this by saying I really like Andy Fr Andy Frisella the creator of 75 hard I really like his message and I really like his stuff I actually think 75 hard is a very good thing. So you're probably wondering to yourself, this sounds very sort of contradictory. Fraser's talking about how most people shouldn't do 75 hard or how it's maybe not very good, yet it is very good. How does that work? Well, let me explain. So I think the principles of 75 hard are very good um, in terms of you know, daily movement, training, moving, walking, hydration, of reading, learning of sticking to some type of diet, right? Like having some type of parameters. All these things. Doing it in a, in a team environment with accountability and peers around you. All these things are important. But one of the things that I would tell you, and I, and I think this is the biggest thing that you must take from this, is that if you keep doing 75 hard over and over again and you just keep getting to the finish and then you keep relapsing and going back to that old version of yourself over and over and over again or you're not even finishing it that's a problem you know insanity the definition of insanity is doing the same things over and over and over again and expecting a different outcome and I see this with a lot of business folks and a lot of entrepreneurs man the amount of times they've done 75 hard and they're still fat and out of shape and that's just the truth doesn't mean that you're a bad person but it means the system you are trying to deploy on yourself is broken. And this is where most people get it wrong, where they will do see, the, 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 the structure of 75 hard, but their diet is terrible. Like, like it says to stick to a diet. If you're bootlegging your diet, you probably have no idea what you're doing. A diet is a very loose term. Most of the diets that I see people doing are terrible, straight up terrible. They're consuming too many calories, the, the foods are too processed, they're, they're not ideal for optimization as far as I'm concerned with all the hundreds and hundreds of blood panels I've reviewed in men from 30 through to 60 and women, not ideal at all. Um, what I would tell you, so I, I don't want to just make this video just a rant about you know what you're doing wrong with 75 hard. So the first thing is you cannot just bootleg the diet and training. Most people what they'll do is their diet sucks. They don't even know what a healthy diet looks like. You think you know what a healthy diet looks like, but you actually don't. The reason why I know this is because if you did, you'd have the result that you want. If you don't have the result that you want, you literally do not actually know what a healthy diet looks like. No matter what you say, no matter what you think, no matter how many books you've read, you don't, period. The second thing is that if you're getting a lot of injuries, or your nervous system is just like burning out. You're overtraining. You're not periodizing your training properly. So yes, it might call for training every day and like and, and dual workouts. So that's why it matters even more that you periodize your training properly. See, for people like one of the one of the benefits with my course, the Superhuman Upgrade, is that you can take that course, and the link will be in the description of this video. You can take that course. <coughs> And you can superimpose it into 75 hard. So you can take the training, you can take the principles, you can take the nutrition, the supplementation, and impose it onto 75 hard and make it work. One of the biggest reasons why people struggle with 75 hard or they go backwards is because their training is two balls to the wall all the time. They're not periodizing their training properly. So periodized training is basically like your training cycle, you know, your split. So are you doing upper body, lower body? Are you doing push-pull legs? Are you doing a bro split? Are you, what type of split are you doing? If you're doing like a max effort CrossFit workout every day, and then your second workout is like a bunch of heavy ass kettlebell swings, or, or a second resistance training workout where you're smashing the same muscles again, you are asking for trouble. You are asking for injuries, you're asking for central nervous system burnout and you're asking for hormonal problems. And then you get to the end of it all and you feel like total shit. How many of you guys have felt that way? And then the same thing rings true for the diet. You don't understand how to structure your diet properly. 
so you're just like starving the whole time and you're craving the whole time and you're fighting yourself and as you lose weight in this deficit you've created you feel more and more impaired like your energy goes down your, your, your mood goes down you start taking more caffeine to try and engineer more energy and it's like this vicious cycle and then you get to the end of the, the 75 days and you're so toasted you just go back to what you were doing you start adding in all the bullshit it just doesn't work like that so what I would tell you is before you even start 75 hard get a comprehensive lab panel done if you're unsure about that stuff, message me. Message me or like reach out to me on Facebook. Reach out to me on Instagram. Get a comprehensive lab panel done because it's going to tell you where your hormones are at. It's going to tell you where your thyroid's at, where your insulin sensitivity is at, where your lipids like your ApoB and your HDL, your cholesterol. It's going to tell you where your, your testosterone and estrogen are at. All of these things will dictate the types of foods and, and supplements that you put into your diet to make yourself more optimal. And then beyond that, if you wanted to take it to another level, hair mineral analysis and food sensitivity testing. Again, message me on Instagram or Facebook if you need help with this stuff. Because those tests further help you determine what types of foods that you should be putting into the diet to really get the best effect. Because it's not just about calories and macros. If that's all it was about, then people would get to the physical result and they'd feel really good and they'd be able to sustain it. What's missing is the quality of the food, the micronutrients, the vitamins, the minerals, the fiber, the colors, the pro and prebiotics, all these things that most people will completely overlook. And so they get, they, they, they either start 75 hard and they can't sustain it, or they get the end of it and they just completely implode on themselves and they do it over and over and over and over again, like a freaking yo-yo diet. What is the point? What's the point? So my point is this, is that the principle of 75 hard is actually very good. I, I like it. But if you don't have a proper plan and you're just bootlegging and guessing, you're asking for trouble. And, you, and many of you guys have probably already done that a bunch of times. I see it. I see it. So the take home point, testing. I would even get a DEXA scan done if you can afford it because then you can see real world data on muscle mass, fat loss, all that type of good stuff. And reach out to me if you want help because this is one of the things guys, when you get into your 40s and 50s and beyond, it's not just about like having big biceps or, or abs. Like you can get to that goal and feel terrible. Trust me, you can get to that goal and feel terrible. The way you get to the goal and not only sustain it, but feel better and feel good, is everything I'm talking about here. It lies in this and you can superimpose that stuff onto 75 hard anyway. You don't have to do something else. But you've got to understand that if you keep doing the same thing over and over again and you don't sustain the result, something's broken with your process. Absolutely broken with your process. And if you keep doing it again, you're going to keep breaking every time you finish. So maybe this is my word of warning to you. Maybe, this, maybe you're watching this right now because you're on that path and you're realizing that, man, I can't sustain this. If that's the case, reach out. Because... I often think to myself, what's the point in getting a really good physical transformation if you don't sustain it? I've seen that too many times in my life. Someone gets abs, they get jacked, and then they go back to being fat again. It's, it, that's pointless. Absolutely pointless. I would rather see someone get a lesser result and sustain 80% of it than get an amazing result and sustain 10% of it. Period. And I've sustained these results I have for over 10 years now without even counting calories. Because I've nailed down all the stuff that I'm talking to you about here with the testing, the biofeedback based nutrition approaches, the micronutrients. Sure, it doesn't mean that you, you're always having great days. Some days are more challenging, some days I might not sleep as well. But more and more, more often than not, I perform much better than the average person because of the way that my physiology is enhanced. So I just wanted to share that with you. So 75 hard, it's not ideal for a lot of people. The principles are very good, but if you're bootlegging and you're guessing, it's no good. So yes, 75 hard does work, but you need the right plans and the right testing within the structure and system to truly make sure it works for you long term and you never go back.